good morning. So I woke up this morning and I checked Instagram and I was quite surprised by some information that I found out. It's finally happening. <laughs> okay, Persona 5, 4, Golden, all that type of stuff. It's coming to Spotify. I've been waiting for that. Okay, for so long. For so long. So they're coming to uh, Spotify on the 5th at midnight, which means nothing in Australia. I have no idea when it's coming out. It'll probably be at lunchtime tomorrow. Um, so, great. So just to give you uh, a bit of a rundown, for the past like years, decades, however it's long, there's been really no good way of listening to the Persona game soundtrack other than playing the game or going onto YouTube and listening to it there. So I suppose if you don't have YouTube music, or whatever it is, you can't listen to it just you know with, on your phone off, whatever you're doing offline, all that type of stuff. But now it's on Spotify where it should have been for years, Persona 5 should have released with the soundtrack coming to Spotify. That's how it should have worked, at least with even with Royal, but it didn't. <laughs> but we finally are getting some of it now. So what's coming out is Persona 5, not Royal, which is a shame. I can't listen to Jailbreak, which is probably my second favorite song, but hey, I can listen to Price. Persona 4 and Golden, Persona 3 and Fez, uh, all which are amazing. I can't wait to listen to Persona 4 Golden's theme. So, and both parts of Persona 2, not Persona 1. Which is a shame because it has some amazing songs. I'm just, I'm so excited for the fan base to just get so angry about that. I'm so excited for it because just the, there is a big portion of the older Persona fan base who just aren't happy with anything anymore, and I'm so excited for those comments. Winked with both eyes. They'll also be releasing a bunch of the spin off games. They'll be releasing uh, Persona 4 Dancing and Persona 4 Arena, which, yep, they have good soundtracks. Although, I suppose Persona 4 Dancing is just like a remix. So, we're getting a remix. Yeah, that's fine. No, this is where I'm a bit confused. Persona 3 and Persona 4 Vocal Sound Collection. Is that just the characters singing? Or is that. Is that just like lines from in the game? Because it, it's vocals, so that means it's singing. I'm confused. I'll, I'll have a listen to it tomorrow and I'll find out what it is. Uh, they're also releasing both of the Persona Q games, which is exciting because I've never played them. I have bought the manga of them, but I've never played them because they're quite still expensive, surprisingly, for once again, a dead console of the 3DS. So I will play them eventually, but I would like to hear the soundtracks actually. They're also releasing uh, Music Fez 2013 and Super Live 2015, neither of which I listen to or know anything about, so I'll be interested in listening to that as well. So this is a really exciting announcement for me personally, not just because I get to listen to, like, these are the, these are some of the best soundtracks from any video game ever. The only thing that even comes close in my books is Nier Automata, and that's already on Spotify, so I can listen to those songs whenever I want. I can listen to the theme park song as much as I like, and I do. I do a lot. That's what I'm talking about, boy! But what's really exciting about this for me is for the longest time, Atlas has kind of felt similar in a way to Nintendo. I'm not sure if it's Atlas calling these shots or if it's Sega, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. At the, at the end of the day, the decisions that have been made have felt very Nintendo in a way. It's the whole like, you play our games when and how we let you type of thing. We take them out of the vault and you can play them in this way now type of thing. So it's like, you can only play it on the PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 3, uh, or the PS Vita. So you can play it on a dead console for like nearly a decade till they finally release it in a better place. You can only stream our games when and how we tell you. Yeah, again, it's like, that's an old Nintendo move. You can also only listen to our songs either by playing the game or buying our overpriced CDs for whoever has a CD player. So it's, they've, their decisions they've made have felt increasingly anti-consumer. Like why isn't Persona 5, like I hate, I hate the movement. I think it's so like self-serving and just like, oh, we deserve this. We're the fan base. We, we deserve this type of thing. Like, shut up. You don't, shut up. But like, I, I hate 90% of the people involved in this, but the, the, the whole, you know, why isn't Persona 5 on the Switch? Like, except for the fact that everyone asking for that are a bunch of whiny babies who just won't want stuff because they haven't gotten it. But like, why isn't it on the Switch? Why can't it be on the Switch? Why isn't it on the Xbox? And, and like, why aren't, why aren't, why isn't Persona 5 on Steam already? Like, why didn't it come out on Steam? It's very, the decisions they've made have felt very anti-consumer 
in a lot of ways. Like the streaming stuff, like I understand why they do the streaming stuff and I respect it and I kind of approve of it in a lot of ways, but a lot of the decisions have felt, and that decision as well, have felt very anti-consumer and really weird. I don't like them. Uh, I love Atlas, I don't like their decisions a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, also I'm sure I've got myself in trouble for complaining about how annoying the uh, Switch Persona 5 does people are. They're so annoying. They're so annoying. Every every video I release, they're commenting about how, why is it on Switch? Like, go away, don't like you. But yeah, so the, the decisions they've been making recently are so different to what Atlas typically does, like releasing Persona 4 Golden on Steam. Out of nowhere, really. Out of nowhere, they do that. Now they're giving us the soundtrack on Spotify. Another decision that's coming out of nowhere that really shouldn't have any reason to do it, but I suppose it's because of, you know, it's their anniversary, so they're, you know, giving us more stuff. Hopefully they're not like Nintendo and only letting us have it for a year. They'll, re they'll remove it in March. Great. They're still kind of annoying with the streaming stuff, and they're still also not releasing the games on all the consoles, which is a shame. I would like to play Persona 5 on Switch. I just hate how toxic the fan base is. But it, yeah, it's that type of thing. But yeah, this is a really exciting thing for me. I'm so excited to play these soundtracks and just enjoy them again, because they're amazing soundtracks. We should have had them years ago, and we finally do. In some amount of hours for us in Australia. I don't know if it's in a day. I don't. I, it's a very rap. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah.